everybody. We are just gonna get set up here. I'm gonna invite Coach Sadie to the party. So if you just hold on one moment. We're gonna be starting practice at 12 p.m. So no rush. The perfect time to clean up your space. I, I have a little bit of space cleaned up, so I'll just quickly show everyone. This is all I have. This is all I have. This is all you're gonna need today. Oh, hey, Sadie. Hello. How's it going? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. We're good. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, awesome. Hello, everyone. It is hockey practice. We are starting in about one minute. So this is a perfect time to clean up your space. Um, as I just mentioned before, this is all the space that I have. Okay. Um, will we need a hockey stick today, coach? Uh, if you have one, you can grab one. If you don't have one, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds good. So we'll just give another 30 seconds, Sadie, here for people to join us. Um, and as people join, I will just keep repeating myself. Clean up your space. Make sure there's nothing around. You only need about six feet. So just go around and just do a little bit of this. Make sure you check the floor. Are there any cords? Clean them up. Are there anything in your way? Clean it up so you're not tripping on anything. Um, grab your water. Mine's always hand reach. Um, I think that's about it. Like Coach Sadie said, you don't need a hockey stick, but if you have one, super cool. Um, yeah, I have shoes on, but, you know, you can wear whatever you want. I'm in the office today, so this is my lunch hour activity. So, yeah, let's give another 30 seconds. Hello. I'm just going to wave to everyone. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. Hey, Soya. Hey, Christian. Hey, Leah. Hey, Nisha. Hey, Xavier. Hey, uh, hey Brooklyn. Hey Stacy. Awesome. And I just waved at you, Sadie. You waved at me. <laughs> I waved at you. Cool. Awesome. Okay, I think we should get started. But first things first, um, Coach Sadie, welcome to your first free play TV session. Thank do you. Do you wanna? Nice. Yeah. Do you wanna tell us a little bit about yourself before yeah. we get into playing? Yeah, totally. So I am one of the free hockey coaches with Free Play for Kids. Um, we started the hockey program in September, and since then, we've had an awesome time uh, getting a bunch of kiddos to play ball hockey in the field house at the soccer center. And then we were really lucky to have a rink built, so we got our kids on the ice yeah. and our juniors on the ice. And so it's been a lot of fun. Um, I played hockey for about 14 years. Uh, I started when I was around four years old, and then I finished at the end of uh, my grade 12 year. And yeah, since then, I, I took a couple years away from hockey, and then we played brought me back, and I'm super excited to be here. So, yeah. So yeah. excited to have you. Awesome. That's awesome. So, okay, Coach Sadie, what are we going to be working on today? Okay, so today is going to be really introductory. So, um, a lot of our kids uh, that have come to our Zoom sessions before, you might recognize some of these activities. Uh, and I'm super excited to bring them back. So we're going to start with a little bit of Coach Says. Uh, then we're going to work into our hockey stance. So if you don't have a hockey stick, not the end of the world. It's all good. We can use our imaginations. Um, we're really working on our form and our stance for the most part. So making yes. sure our knees are bent, our head is up. Uh, then we're going to do a small little hockey workout. Um, nice. And I have a small game for us. So I've got my trusty board here. Nice. We are going to play a little bit of Letterman. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's get into it. I'm ready. Okay. If you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's do it then. Cool. Okay, so um, take a second to find some space. Uh, there we go. You can see me okay? okay let's see. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. So yeah, just a little bit of space to move around. We don't need too much space. We're not going to be all over the place today. Um, we're going to start okay. with what Coach says, and we're just going to start with a dynamic warm-up, okay? So, um, Ooh, okay. so that's kind of like Simon said. Uh, then we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep 
keep our bodies moving this whole time. We want to get ourselves uh, warmed up. So we're just going to start with a light jog. So foot stance and start with a light jog here. So nice and easy. Nice job, you guys. Thank you, thank you. I'm like, I'm smiling because I'm like, I'm already listening to okay, Coach Says, Coach Says. Only do what Coach Says. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so Coach Says, we're going to pick up the pace a little bit here so you can come to our medium jog. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to go into some high knees. So we can lift those knees up. Do we do it? Do we do it though? Go says to do it. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go says buckets. Oh yeah. There you go. Alright, go says we're gonna go back into our our level two speed jog here. And you can let your arms hang loose, move them around. All right, coaches, we're going to go into some quick feet here, okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh. And coaches, back to jog. This is my legs are burning. <laughs> yeah, yes. All right. So with the little space you have, make sure you have some room side to side. We're just gonna do some leg shuffles. So we start the right, and the right. Okay. Shuffle to the right. We can move back and forth. There we go. Okay. You can lift your legs a little bit. Oh, I'm feeling great. Feeling great? I'm ready to like sprint a little bit, play a little bit of games, you know? I'm ready. I'm warmed up. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, push the ground up. Push the ground up. Push the ground up. Mm -hmm. I, when I'm in my muscle stance, I have about four key things that I like to tell my kiddos to remember when they're learning four. their hockey skills. Okay? Okay. Do you want to kind of guess a couple of them? Okay, this is all with your hockey stance. Yeah. Okay. So you have a stick in your hand. You're in your hockey stance. Okay. There we go. Uh, knees bent. Knees bent. That's a big one. Do you wonder if you um, like, like this so we're squatting on the ground, or like, just like maybe a little bend? How yeah, just a little bend. You know, I like, I just try to find where I'm comfortable, really strong. So if like someone kind of pushes me over, I can like catch myself. So I'm like midway. I don't know if you can tell, but this is mine. Nice. Um. Uh, elbows? Is there something to do with elbows? Like making sure like your elbows yeah, up? Yeah, so when we're holding our hockey stick, we want our elbows to be away from our body, right? We want there to be some space between our body and our elbows. So we want okay. to our knees bent, our elbows should be pulled out from our body. Our arms should be out. Okay. Yeah, so we have a um, tendency, a lot of people have a tendency when they're learning how to play hockey, they hold their skin a little bit too high and their elbows are into their body. Oh. Right, so our elbows are tight in our body, and this really limits our range of motion. So we want our arms to be loose, right? We want to be strong, we want to be stable, but we want our arms to come out a little bit. There we go. Okay, nice. okay. Okay, that's okay, two. Um, is there something about, like, chest up? Maybe chest, chest up. up or, like, back straight? Yeah, totally. Instead of, like, yeah. okay. So we don't want our back, right? I'm killing it. We don't want our back to be... Bent over like this, right? But we also don't want our back to be up forward like this. So we want to be nice and strong in our stance. When our knees are bent, we should be engaging our legs. We should also be engaging our core, right? Oh, okay. And when we bend our arms out, our back should be straight. Our chest should be up. If our chest is like this, 
our body's gonna have a tendency to fall forward, our head's gonna have a tendency to fall forward, and then our whole stance is gonna whack. Okay. Okay. So we're good. Okay, so that was three. Elbows, chest, back, knees nice. bent? Knees bent. Is there yeah. one more? Is there one uh -huh. more? Oh, head up. Head up. Yeah. Okay. So not like this. Okay. Boom. Yeah. Nice. So with our head up, um, when we're learning how to play hockey, it can be difficult to try to keep our head up, especially if we've got a ball in front of us and we're trying to stick handles. It can be difficult for us to move our head up to try to take our eyes off the ball or off of whatever is in front of us on the ground. Um, and so what I like to do is, you know, when you get the ball, you start stick handling back and forth. You get a little bit of a feel for it on your blade. And then as you're comfortable, you can kind of slowly take a glance up. And then if you okay. keep moving it, you can look back down again, get your control, and then take a glance up. I like to have a spot that I pick on the wall that I like to see. Okay. To make sure that my head's up. And with our peripheral vision, hey, Coach Haley. Hi, Coach Haley. Yay, Coach hockey. Here. <laughs> cool. I think uh, so I think Coach Haley should join us, maybe oh, if she's hanging out. <laughs> Request to join, Coach Haley. Request to join. Um, okay, sorry. Yes, yes. Yeah, no worries. So when we have our head up, okay, once we're comfortable with this position, comfortable with the movement with the stick uh, in our hands, uh, we can see that ball or that puck through our peripheral vision, right? So even if mm -hmm. we're we're looking around, we're trying to stand the edge, we have to figure out where you go. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, Hi, Sadie. Hi, Ivy. Hello. Uh, we can always kind of have our eyes up and looking at the surface around us while still making sure that we can kind of see that ball in our peripheral vision. On, on right. So, yeah, a great way to train yourself to learn how to do that. Do a couple stick handles, you know, look up. If you feel like you're losing it, you can take another glance readjust yourself and then get back to it. Because it's really important that we have our head up while we're skating. Awesome. Okay, cool. I just said hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. <laughs> Adam's here. here. Adam's cool. here. Okay, yes. cool. Awesome. Do we have awesome. any questions about the hockey stand? You know what, like, I just always have a question about, um, like, where I should have my stick. Because, like, you know, if I'm waiting, so this is this is like your neutral hockey position, right. right? So like if I'm waiting for a pass or if whatever it is, like where should my stick be? Because like sometimes I feel like it's too, I don't know if you can see my stick is like straight in front of me, right. off to the side or like really off to the side. You know what I mean? Like I never know what's the right position, where my stick should be. Holy. So you want your stick to basically be, as you're moving, if you don't have a puck on you, if you're like waiting for a pass or waiting for someone to get the puck to you, you want to make sure that with your head up, right, you kind of know where we're looking. And by understanding where the puck is on the ice or on the field, uh, we can kind of adjust our body, right? So even though we have okay. our, our hockey stand and our stick on the ice, this isn't, we can't be, you know, married to this, right? We got to be able to move around. We don't want our hands to be too tight. We don't want to be like gripping off our hockey stick, right? We want to be able to move. And so one thing I really like to do when I'm practicing my stick handling, I'll start in front, do some little stick handles in front, and then I'll practice some wider stick handles. And then maybe okay. I'll move to the side of my body, to the front of my body, to the other side of my body. Um, on your hockey stick, you have your forehand and your backhand, so you basically have two blades to work with. It can be really awkward if there's a puck coming over here, and we're a right-handed hockey player, and we're trying to get our stick over this way, right? So what we really yeah. want to do is make sure that we're able to move our body, practice all the time with our stick. Um, there is no answer to where your stick should be, but if you can okay. move yourself, if you can adjust to your movement, um, then you'll, you'll be able to catch that pass, right? Cool. Okay. Cool. And yeah. check my hands. Let's Are my hands, hands okay? Hands look good. Instead of holding on to the knob of the stick, like right on the knob, you just want to kind of bring your hand down. So your little pinky finger should be kind of pressed up against the knob of the stick. Yeah, there you like go. That's this. a little bit better, yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. There you go. Okay, yeah, here we go. Your stick looks a little too small for you there. Yeah, like look how tall it is. <laughs> 
Because it's supposed to be like, for me, it should be like here, here, you know? Does yeah, it matter? So when you're not wearing skates, when you're just going in shoes, oh, you want skate. to be about the head of your nose when you're standing. Oh, um, I'm a little off. Yeah, so when you have your skates on, you got about an extra inch and a half ish of height with your blades. Your uh, stick should drop down. It should be kind of closer to your chin, between your nose and your chin. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. cool. Awesome. So I, I need to get a different stick, but that's okay. Good stuff. Good that's stuff. awesome. <laughs> cool. All right. Are we ready to let's see? Twelve fourteen. Should we move on to our hockey workout? I think we should do a hockey workout. I think yeah. we should sweat it out. Yeah. I think so too. Good stuff. Okay. Let's do it. So this hockey workout is um, we're basically working on uh, our lower body for the most part. So we're working okay. on our quad strength, um, our power. This is really important when we're skating, that we have strong right. legs, that we have lots of power in our legs. Uh, and this exercise is actually really good for all positions on the ice. So when I played hockey, I was a goalie. Um, and I found with myself, when I was doing goalie stuff, I had a super strong waist down. My legs were strong, I, like my calves were strong, I felt stable, I felt good. My core was even all right, but sometimes my upper body, oh my goodness, I have a strong upper body as a goalie. <laughs> that was not my fortune. So the good news is that uh, when you're playing hockey, you're holding your stick and you're holding your gloves, and you do need that strong upper body, whether you're a goalie or whether you're a player. Um, right. But when you are working on your legs, working on a leg workout, you can never go wrong for any position in this sport. So legs okay. are very important. Very important as a goalie um, to be able to get from point A to point B, to be able to get up nice and quick, to have that endurance, and they're important for players. Uh, so that they, totally. can, they can skate, they can get that power. So we're gonna start with some uh, okay. skating sounds. So what we're gonna do, okay. uh, if you know, we're gonna pull these in here. Might have to turn my camera down a little bit. Okay, so we're basically gonna start on one side of our screen, okay? We want a little bit of space laterally. We're gonna bend our knees, and lift up our inside foot. Okay, so I'm gonna be moving to the right. I'm gonna lift up my right That's foot. And what I wanna do is I wanna get in lots of power. So as I lift up my right foot, I wanna be bending down on my left foot, and then I'm okay. just gonna be bounding across this way. So we're moving this way. Nice and grounded. There you go. You can start nice and slow to kind of get the feel. Ooh. Move your arms if you'd like to. Pretend like we're skating. There we go. Yeah. And so I really encourage you in the jump to that opposite foot that you're holding that position. Nice. There you go. I want you to get a hang of this. I want you to try to do this and pick a spot on the wall. Keep on. Keep your head up. Awesome. So, trying to stay in the frame here. Woo! Okay. So we'll do two more on each side. Go up, we're good. You can shake your legs up. This is an awesome uh, drill that can be modified as well. So if you're finding okay. a little bit easy, taking little baby jumps and then balancing on your foot, um, you just kind of try to get a little bit more momentum, bring your body down, a little bit more power to that uh, that quad, and take a nice kick. Ooh, awesome. okay, okay. So yeah. you can start so up stuff. It's too. Oh, sorry, I was going to say, so if it's too hard, do little ones, little ones. And then as you get better, really, there's no limit to how far you can take it, right? Totally, yeah. And something that I really like to do that I enjoy doing is I basically set up like a four-point square, right? So instead of going okay. laterally back and forth, jump, I'm going to hold myself on that foot. I'm going to leave my eyes up in the air, and then I can pivot. And when I pivot, oh. I'm going to my balance, and then I'm moving to my neck cone. Ah. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. That's awesome. awesome. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay, the next one we're going to do is uh, it's called toe touches. It's similar to toe touches. Um, but we're not going to be on our back. So okay. we need to make sure that you'll be able to see me for this one. Um, basically, what we're going to do here, and Adrienne, I'll try to walk you through this because I think that you might have a better camera angle. Everyone can see my feet. Okay. So we're going to be on one foot, again, with the balance, okay? Um, what we're going to do is our back foot, the one that we're not balancing on, is going to come straight out and straight back. And while we do this movement, we're going to be bending our knee, just bringing our arms up and touch the ground. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a little bit tough to explain. Let's see here. I don't know if you can quite see me. So I'll go this way. Face my leg. Oh, yeah. Up. And with this, I'm going to bring my feet to the ground, touch my hands. And then come back. Oh. So there you're more you like, yeah. you're not hinge, you're not really hinging forward. You're more like bending your knee to get down. Yeah. Ooh. So it's not, yeah, not a hinge forward. You're trying to lower yourself. This one's all about control. Um, so with this exercise here, uh, the slower we do it, the better it's going to be. Um, yeah. We like to do things quickly, get lots of reps in. Um, <laughs> but but I think the control is really important here. So um, what we like to do, yeah, we like to move nice and slow for this one. So let's do like kind of like five reps on each leg. Um, five? Okay. Over, not the end of the world. Uh, stand back up, try again. The more that we practice this, the easier it's going to get. Uh, and this is a tough one. This is a tough one to do, but it's kind of fun because you get to test the balance a little bit. Yeah, okay. totally. Okay, let's do this. Cool. So yeah, we want our arms like straight out. There you go. Oh, I hinge forward more than bend my knee, but that's okay. I'll do it in the next one. You got it. Nice. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't realize how much I got to work on my balance until you do these kind of like exercises, you know? <laughs> Yeah, balance is a tough one. Um, and I think the, the biggest thing is like, when we're, when we're working on our balance, if we're having a tough time performing our balance and exercises, it's important to keep doing those exercises so that we keep working on those muscles. Uh, but at the same time, we also want to do like small drills to just work on our balance alone. Um, yeah, hey. So one that Coach Annie likes to do with soccer kids, and I've seen her do online quite a few times, uh, is basically you have... Um, like a sock in your hands, you can roll up a sock if you have something at home. Uh, and yeah. She kind of puts it on the toe and then lowers it to the ground, and you can bring it back up immediately. Oh, so there are that's back cool. Oriented exercises that we can do to work on that kind of stuff. But and balance is so important. Like, how important is it in hockey? I feel like it's more important than any other sport because you're on skates. Is it? No? Is it that <laughs> yeah. matter? I don't yeah, know. It's super important in hockey. Nice. There you go. Nice. Oh. Yeah, it's super important in hockey. And, but a lot of it also has to do with, like, your, like, your strength training, right? and the control that you have. So really working, like I know we're working on our legs right now, but when it comes to balance, really focusing on our core, making sure our core is strong and tight, and our back is strong and tight. We don't just want to be engaging like one muscle. Right? We want to make sure right. that our whole body is trained. Yeah, exactly. And so I know it's important in all sports. I've seen those football guys out there and they're getting bang around. And you watch coaches <laughs> and you've got awesome balance. Yeah. yeah. Basketball kids, like, they're dribbling the ball around and they're scribbling on their toes. So, yeah. You know, everyday life, right? You live in Canada. So, you know, in the middle of January, you walk outside. You know, <laughs> if you have a dollar, you are all I think yeah, that's the biggest good. selling point here. Hey, everyone out there, do the, your balancing exercises because you know you're going to hit that patch of ice and just be like, whoa. Exactly. And, <laughs> Those balancing exercises come and rescue. They, That's awesome. They, do. they really, really do. Awesome. Okay. Um, how much time do we got? 12.23. Okay. So the next yeah. thing that I want to do, uh, it's an explosive exercise. 
Um, okay. Have power again. So these exercises obviously will have a theme, uh, and that theme is just tied back into the power skating, basically. So really working on the right. skating muscle groups. Um, so the next one I want to do, you will need a little bit of space for this as well. If you have access to, like, and I don't mean right now, but I just mean in general, if you have access to, like, a field behind your house, or maybe, like, a backyard with some space, um, forward jumps are basically like forward explosive jumps. So they're two foot jumps, we're just going to start to one foot, uh, really engaging, again, our thighs, and getting that momentum with our arms to go forward. And again, before we finish our exercise, really sticking the landing, right? Because our landing is important too. We don't sure. to jump halfway through the hand, hit the ground, and then finish our exercise because that landing is super, super important. And the way that we absorb that force, absorb that energy is super important. So. So okay, if you awesome. Have this space to do this, um, I encourage you to join us. Uh, if not, I want you to write this one down, especially if you're one of my free hockey kids, because we're going to be working on this in the coming weeks. So, okay. really just, uh, find that space. We want our feet to be about shoulder width apart. We want to bend our knees here, okay? And I really, really want to encourage you to engage your arms in this one, okay? So, we're not just jumping with our legs. Okay, we're bringing our whole body forward, we're using our core. While we're in the air, I also want to make sure that our, our chest and our tummy is falling forward and we're not moving all around, okay? So we're really working on okay. that strength. Okay, we're just going to bring ourselves down. So as our arms come back, our bum drops. Okay, as our arms come forward, we explode forward. Yeah, this is okay. Awesome job. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do a few of these. Okay, when I'm doing this with you, I just keep going. Okay, from point A to point B, jumps all the way along. All right, so we're going to drop our arms. Grab your bum and explode forward. Nice. Awesome. Remember that landing is, is just as important, arguably more important than that first jump, okay? So make sure that we're really landing, sticking our feet, working on our balance, making sure we're nice and strong in our stance. Put our arms back, fall down, jump. Nice. Awesome. And so with this drill as well, we want to make sure that we're still incorporating those four key things in our hockey stance, right? We want our knees bent, we want our chest up, we want our heads up, we want our arms away from our body as well. Okay, so let's do a few more of these. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Good work. So how cool. can we challenge ourselves with this? Like, should we try, like, okay, I feel pretty good about this. Should I try going for, like, a farther distance to, like, yeah. test my strength? Or is yeah. it height? Or, yeah, how uh, can I yeah, challenge? Yeah, so with this one, we're looking more for distance than height. Um, okay. So uh, something that I used to do uh, when I was working with my team is we would have like some sort of a marker. So maybe anything, <sighs> anything like a water bottle, a backpack, whatever. And then we had our starting point. So we would jump, land, mark our point, go back and try to beat our record. Um, Ooh, or okay. For the group of friends, maybe I go, I jump, I get a certain distance. If you're out, you're up next, you're trying to beat my distance. Right? See if you can finish off at the end. So, yeah, really working on that. That's level. awesome. Um, working on that power, endurance, explosiveness through our legs. Through That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to try to – I'm going to set a, a distance for myself right now. Oh, sorry, you're freezing. So – oh, sorry. I said I'm going to work on that distance. Nice. I think we should – I'm going to do it right now so everyone can see. And I'm going to use my water bottle. Can you see the floor? Can you see yeah, the floor? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a my my starting point and All see right. how far I can go. I don't know why I have a pencil. I was gonna write it down. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> you know when you're on the te when you're like testing yourself and you just forget what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Now okay. So measure t at the toe or at my heel? Usually we measure at the heel. Okay. Yeah, so right behind the foot. Awesome. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you have done this with like track and field as well as schools. 
So you get those sand pits in uh, school. Yeah. Stuff. So that's another really great yeah. place for that is uh, in like a sandy area. Um, yeah. So okay, cool. Okay. I, I just marked my spot. And, oh, but I don't know where I started. I think I was here. Yeah, I think you were around there. You were about there. I was like at the end of the screen. Okay, here we go. <laughs> to beat it. Oh, nice. guys! I got this! Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a fun one to do. Um, yeah, it's, it it's is. one that doesn't feel like a workout, and then by the end of it, you're sweating. So, um, yeah. But yeah, so there are a lot of, if we're still kind of working on the same skills, there are a lot of squat variations we can do. Um, we don't have to go through them all today because I believe we only have about 10 minutes left and I want to get into our game. Um, however, uh, there are lots of different types of squats you can do when we're working on this kind of stuff uh, that also test our balance and our lower body strength and our core strength. Um, so one that I really like to do is called the chair pose. So you put your arms up. And you basically are like sitting in a chair. So you're, yeah. And then come back and take that. Oh, okay. Here's okay, so that one. Uh, there's another one we can do where we have one oh. foot on the ground, okay? And our other foot is in the air. And we are rotating our hand. So instead of coming down with both hands like we were in the toe touches, our leg is going up. Our knee is bending, and then our opposite hand is coming down to touch the ground. Oh, yeah. This one's good. Yeah, you can offer, you can uh, switch good sides on that one. I yeah, love this chair one. one. This one chair one's good. like oh, good sorry. for your arms. I love this chair one because it's like good for your arms too. Like it engages your back muscles. Or is that just me? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, it really engages your back muscles. Uh, and if, you're, if you have like access to a mirror or even like a phone to videotape yourself, um, it's really important that you are paying attention to your body alignment, right? So when we're standing uh, upright in our hockey stance, right, our hips are stacked over our knees, our knees are stacked over our ankles. Um, it's right. important that we're keeping our body properly aligned. Same thing when we right. have one leg up in the back, maybe one arm forward, we want to make sure that all of our joints are aligned properly um, so that we're not injuring ourselves, right? Right. Good point. Very good point. Awesome. Well, thank you. That was a good workout. I think we should play our game. I think so, too. Let's play our game. Cool. Awesome. Okay, we've got about five people live with us right now, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Stay. Come. If you want to play a game, stay with us and maybe send us a message. If you have any questions for Coach Sadie or for myself, Adriana, about free play for kids and how you can get involved or how you can keep playing, just message us and we'll totally answer. Totally. Totally, totally. Awesome. Okay. So this next game I want to play... Um, is called, we call it Letterman, okay? But I have my hockey board here. Okay. And I am going to explain some portion of this sport. There's a lot of different things that go on. Um, so it'll be like a rule, uh, maybe a scenario. There will okay. be a name for it. So it's like a hockey vocabulary test. I'm going to explain it on okay. the board, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, and then this is where okay. we'll have maybe... Adriana can guess, we'll have our viewers can guess as well. So you can type in the chat, uh, send a comment, and then if you get it right, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, so okay. for those of you who don't know about hockey, I will explain the board real quick here. So this is our hockey ring. I'm sure we've all seen it before. Okay? Mm -hmm. So basically our hockey ring is divided into two halves. Okay? So maybe you can use this in my day. It's easier to use this half. Okay, so the half line is our red line right down the middle. Okay, we have a blue line on either side, which defines the zones. Okay, so we have two zones in hockey, well, three zones in hockey. Okay, we have uh, the far end, which is like our um, defensive zone. So if I'm a goalie, okay, everyone here is on my team. I'm going to be in this net. You're going to be defending me against this net here, okay? Uh, we're going to be working to move the puck down the ice to the other net, okay? 
So if this is our end, we're moving this way. We try to score on the goalie on this end. Okay, we have our two blue lines. We have our five face-off uh, circles yeah. here. And then we have also our face-off circles in front of the blue lines as well. Okay? Okay. So, um, very brief overview. If you have any other questions, feel free to type in chat or Adriana if you have any other questions. Um, these are kind of just the lines and the way that they all work. Uh, there's okay. a lot of rules that are kind of also ingrained into all of these lines as well. So that stuff, um, sometimes it takes a while to kind of get down to that stuff. And it really takes us actually getting on the ice and being able to play and being able to see it for ourselves that we start to learn what these things actually mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to try my best. All right, let's see. If, if you're watching and you know hockey, you're going to have to help me out here because my hockey IQ is pretty low, so I'm excited to learn something today. <laughs> you got okay. it. Okay. Okay. So, the first one, okay, is the play is going to be in this end, okay? So, we've got our X's, we've got our O's, okay? The goalie is an O. This is the O zone, okay? Hockey's right here. All right, this defender is feeling a lot of pressure from these two forwards coming at him with puck. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. do? Fires the puck down the ice to the other end. Ref blows the whistle. What do we call this? Offside. Not play. Um, uh, I don't know. Someone please help me out. Who knows this? Anybody? Who knows this? Anybody knows this? Um, uh, icing. Hey, so Hill. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's icing. You, cool. We owe you. We owe you something. What do we owe you? I don't know. You need a hockey <laughs> stick for home? Let me know. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is icing. So in minor hockey, when we see this, okay, we fire the puck down. Once it passes this line, the other team's goal line, if it doesn't touch any of the players, if it makes its way all, all the way down to the end of the ice without touching anybody else, this is an icing call. Um, however, if there's somebody standing here and it kind of touches their skate, touches their foot, uh, then we don't call that icing. So oh, it's okay. All the way down the ice, yeah. And, Wait, uh, undisrupted? Before the blue line, if they're before the blue line and it touches them. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Well, no, no. It can be disrupted at any point from one end to the other end, but it has to be fired from behind the red line. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh, man. Awesome. Cool. Should okay. I do five yes. jumping jacks for not getting that right? I'll do five jumping jacks. All right. I'm if you didn't get it right, the f <laughs> I think we should just make it a rule. Your jumping jack form is impeccable. Oh, yes. Good work. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The next one um, we're going to do. Okay. So we still got our opening here. Okay. Um, ref blows the whistle and calls a penalty against our O team. So now we're lining up for the face off. It's going to be in this end. Okay. We've got four O's. We've got five X's here, okay? okay? Now there's a term that I'm looking for that describes these four O's, okay? So if you're on a penalty kill, you are blank. Defense. Not quite, not quite. If you're on a so penalty kill. If I have less players on the ice than this other team, I'm considered to be blank. Disadvantaged. Close, close, close. Really close. Close? Oh, really close. Can anyone close. help me out? Anyone out there? Anyone can help me out? It's two words. Starts with an S. It's two words. S it's like kind of synonymous with penalty kills. We have our penalty kill or we're blank, blank. Why? How? God. Someone, someone. Sohil, are you out there? Can you help me out? He's there. He's, um, he's lurking behind the screen. Penalty. Okay, so it's not penalty kill. It's 
Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. We're short. Oh, short a player, short player, short man, short woman, short, short hand, short handed. Short handed. Short handed. Okay. Short handed. Okay. Done. All right. This is going to be our last one here. Okay. So, I don't know this. Oh. Hmm. Five, five jumping jacks. Five jumping jacks. Let's do it. <sighs> so if I'm not getting the hockey stuff right, at least I'm getting okay. my workout in, you know? Exactly. This is a good lunch break. Okay. So, Great. Uh, last one here. Okay. We've still got our O's in this end. Okay. We've got our X's. And they've got the puck. Okay. So we've got our O's defending. Our X's have the puck. They're carrying it in. This guy here gets the blue line. He's got the puck. This guy here is skating faster, a little bit faster. He steps over the blue line before this puck crosses the blue line. Offside. Yes. I I boom, 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 boom. I needed it. Yes. Okay. And I only know that because of soccer. It's kind of like the same rule in soccer almost. How does it work in soccer? In soccer, the line is created by the last defender. Oh, so for hockey, it's the blue line, right? Yeah. But for us, it's the last defender that makes the line. No five jumping jacks for this one. Yes. Yeah, so. Nice. <laughs> I got it. Uh, hey, Coach Sherv. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, that's everything I have for you today. Um, hopefully, awesome. Hopefully it was all right. I honestly, I had, I had a little yeah. bit of a start going. Um, yeah, so today we kind of, we worked on our hockey stance, we reintroduced our hockey stance, we had a really good warm-up with Coach Sez, uh, and then yep. we some kind of balance, lower body strength exercises, we had a good conversation about balance, why it's so important, um, yep. but we also want to say balance is important your whole life, uh, whether or not you play sports or not, um, balance is something that is super important and we should always be working on it, that might even just be totally. like walks every day. Um, if you're like me and you go for walks every day, maybe you'll trip over something that doesn't exist on the sidewalk and then, and then you've got to see if you, you can balance and not fall over. Um, but yeah, really, that's uh, awesome. really working on that. That's a, a key thing that we've, uh, you know, just, totally, totally. I'm a, I'm a huge balance advocate apparently today. I, I don't even know oh. where that comes from, but, um, Hey, yeah, it's important for sure. Did a couple of little games on the board. So, yeah. I Thank you. Do you have fun today? Oh, it's awesome. I had so much fun. And I think I think we need to end the session with a social emotional skill of the day. Um, and at Free Play, we always talk about social, emotional, and mental health learning because as an athlete or whether you're just a rec player or even just a good life skill is to have strong social skills, strong emotional skills, strong mental health skills because – Sometimes you'll be faced with a hard challenge and these skills will help you. So Coach Sadie, what is the skill of the day? Yeah, so something that we like to talk about a lot in free play is starting conversations. Uh, and that's one of my favorite social emotional uh, learning components that we cover, um, especially in these crazy times that we're in. It's super easy to feel lonely out there. We don't get a ton of yeah. interaction. And so it's really important to start conversations with people. Um, and this can be a little bit scary. I've had lots of uh, talks with some of the kids that we work with about, you know, how do we start a conversation? What if we're too scared to start a conversation? You know, if Adriana's scared to talk to me and I'm scared to talk to Adriana, then we might never have a conversation with each other. We might never find what we have in common. Totally. Um, so... Yeah, it's really important that we, you know, when we see somebody, maybe they need help, giving someone a smile. We have to remember that we don't just speak with our mouths, right? But also our body language, the way we carry ourselves, uh, the way we show other people that we care about them. Somebody on the street, give them a smile. You see somebody struggling, yeah. ask them if they need help. Uh, you're standing in line, you're in an awkward elevator. You can ask someone how their day is going. Um, yeah. Want to carry conversations with you and and sometimes they might be a little bit quiet, but you know 
that um, you know you put the effort forth to try to make that person's life a little bit better. And there's I a love very that. Really cool quote that I like. Um, that is, it's better to be the person who uh, waved than the person who didn't wave back. So yes, I love cool. that. I love that. And you know what? I will give out a shout out to everyone who messaged in the group today. And just like just here on Instagram, I know this is where our life is now in the virtual space. So shout out to everyone who's messaged. Shout out to Soul Hill for saving me five jumping jacks. <laughs> but you started a conversation today. Adam started a conversation today. Sherv, Haley, they all started conversations today and that makes us feel good. And I hope that makes you feel good because, you know, we're, we become friends over a virtual space that, you know, doesn't happen very often, but we get to do it. So, um, yeah, don't be shy. Don't be nervous. And if you, and if you are like, let's say, Sadie, do you have an advice to someone who is shy or who, you know, is a little scared or nervous to say those first words? Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, I get nervous too. And, I, I'm a big talker, um, but when I when you have to break the ice, it can be a little bit like scary sometimes. Um, but I think that my advice is really those first couple words are the toughest to get over. That's your that's your kind of the barrier that you you know you can break. And having totally. um, maybe a couple phrases like your go tos that uh, yeah. you, can, you can like lean on if you're unsure of what to do. Um, a smile is always so big. You know, you just take a deep breath. I realize that three seconds of that conversation, you'll be able to relax a little bit. Um, but I love that. I that. Even though it's scary and it, it can be really scary, like I, I can get quite anxious in social situations sometimes. Um, but even though it is scary, when we can kind of, uh, you know, just take the leap forward and take a deep breath and, um, you know, break that ice. We will find, you know, nine times out of ten that that conversation is good for us. So I might go to the. For sure. I always think, how's it going? I feel like that one's <laughs> kind of stuck in my brain. Um, but hey, I know, same. Maybe, maybe somebody's got cool shoes. Coach Bailey always has cool, cool shoes. So I'm yeah. Shoes. Um, you can never go wrong with a compliment. So. That's so true. I loved shoe. Yeah, shoes are a good one. I always love to see the kids wear their jerseys. So when our free play kiddos come, they wear their jerseys. I love always commenting on jerseys because, you know, it's always a cool thing to show off. Awesome. Cool. Thank you, Coach Sadie, for the hockey practice. I had so much fun. It was a great break to my day. I hope everyone who's watching had lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with us and sharing. We, if you want to keep practicing your hockey skills, your football skills, your soccer skills, your basketball skills, check out our YouTube channel. You can go to the link in our bio and it's called Free Play TV. And you can see full sessions, hour long sessions, 45 minute sessions, 30 minute sessions. And then there's also very, very short clips of like five minute drills that you can do at home or in your house. And most of them don't require equipment or a lot of space. So it's kind of nice. Um, and then we would be live every day, Monday, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday at 12 p.m. Um, tomorrow we'll be playing football. Football. Wednesday we're going to be soccer with Coach Annie, and then Thursday we got basketball with Coach Cole. So tune in at 12 p.m. tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Repel, you missed the live. Rappel, I think you're going to have to join the live tomorrow. And Maybe Rappel, you should join right now. Can he, uh, can he tune into our YouTube? Is that how this works? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this video, and I'm going to put it on our YouTube channel So for everyone who missed it. Rappel, go do 20 push-ups. Go do 20 squats. squats. <laughs> Practice your balance. Exactly. Practice your balance. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Coach Sadie. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I will see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. Bye, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. See you.